ain't been switch. broke in a minute. Nah, nah, I tryna run these digits. Nah, nah, Put my little bro on the pin. Nah, nah, we hop out the car with extensions. Nah, nah, these niggas be pistols, they switchin'. Nah, 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 Playin' with bro, then you go on the mission. Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worry about bitches. All right, y'all. So we're here with RRQ Hoshi versus AP Bryn game three. So let's see. Let's see which team I'm liking this time, man. So we got the Fretchen pick once again. Uh, I like that. They played that well. Um, with the Ruby, okay. I don't know if Brusco is that great. I, I wasn't a fan of his tanking last time. Okay, AP Bryn is actually starting off pretty aggressive right now. They're starting off. Look at that. They're already forcing somebody to go back like that. That was that's some aggression from them. Um, let's see. Oh, snap. x -Borg. I see, I see Flap on the x -Borg already. Super Marco. Oh, my goodness. Arguin. Nana? Nah, they win. <laughs> they, they, they definitely win. AP Brin, they won draft. They won draft. Yeah, though, those picks are insane. Those picks are definitely insane. Yeah, they, they drafted so much better, man. I'm a huge, like, it's a lot of CC between Guinevere and Nana. And then, like, the, uh, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not fair. That's not fair at all, bro. Too much CC over there. And then, Exborg is, like, impossible to kill. It's a task just killing an Exborg, especially if you're good on him. It's a big task. So, Exborg should be winning lane. Let's see. All right, let's see how they play. Let's see how they play. I think RRQ, they dominate. Um, they're strong. Their strongest area is their aggressive, their mechanical skill, and things like that. But they probably stand the best chance early game, to be honest. But not even, really. I don't, you know, like... I mean... As you can see, like this is a pro team. Like I'm, they not bums. I'm, I'm thinking about it from a perspective. Okay, wow. Secured an objective. Secured a kill. It looked like Flap is out of there. To be honest, why they didn't? Okay, I don't know why they didn't go for that kill on Flap. That man was trapped inside of a circle. All that aggression, and when a man has no shit, no um, none of his shield up. And he's trapped in a circle dome where he can't move. Y'all let him just, you know, heal. It's crazy. AP Brand is starting off well. Look at this. Are they going to take the... Look at that. Macro. Look at this. They're funny. They're... So they're, they're going to take this creep right here. Put the enemy team behind. Put themselves ahead. Um, <clears throat> Which is smart. What they should be doing. Look at this. They're not even touching their own jungle. They're trying to they're trying to harass the enemy's jungle. Trying to take something from the enemy. And they did secure one thing from the enemy. Let's see. Okay. What's the Guinevere doing? The Guinevere just got tried to get a jump on Skylar. Okay, get back to jungling. Let's see. What is Kyle? Kyle gonna get back to jungling or what? Okay. I don't know why Kyle was defending top lane. That's crazy. <clears throat> Not taking creeps in the jungle. What's going on? Not sure what's going on here, to be honest. Wow. This, oh, my God. Is he going to get the double? Oh, Flap. That's crazy. Flap Teasy just got the double. I mean, yeah, that was that was crazy. That was crazy. I like it. 
My man's Kyle Teasy though, man. Like you gotta stop. Bro, stop just letting them stop. Stop walking past jungle creeps, bro. Stop walking past stuff in the jungle and just walking for miles without touching anything, doing anything, and accomplishing anything, bro. You better take them jungle monsters, bro. I like seeing you take stuff from the enemies. I like, I, you know, but you got to farm your own jungle, man. You should always be doing something. Because right now, the rest of the team is putting on, bro. Like, like they harassing the enemies. They taking their jungle. They doing... The whole team as a whole is playing well. But this is the jungling just like, it's like he going for straight kills, which when it pays off, it, it pays off, <laughs> you know, but okay. Um, look at that. See, they taking, they taking his jungle. So they're putting him behind. They're trying to put him behind. Okay. I like the dives. I like the attacks. I mean... They're attacking well, and they go to secure top tower right there. That just secured that. Nice. Nice, Ogwin. Doing a little bit of harassing. Looks like it might be another free objective here. Free Lord. Yeah, because Flap is zoning. <laughs> Flap is zoning their retribution. And he has them all distracted. Yeah, that's a free Lord. Free Turtle. Flap is carrying this game, to be honest. Flap is everywhere. He's dom not only is he dominating his lane, but I'm seeing him in every lane in the jungle taking creeps from the end. Like Flap is carrying, bro. Mm. Flap is ahead in gold. Mm mm mm. Not surprising. Flaps level 11. Yeah, he's out leveling everybody too. Kyle isn't doing bad either. Kyle is just in all the smoke. I like it. Dang. Flap at it again. Flap back at it. They got his retry from him. Made him retry. I don't know that RRQ should be fighting for this. They should probably be pushing bot lane. When you're behind 5k gold, you don't fight Lord. Even though they got a kill right there, but you don't fight that. Are they going to win this fight? That's crazy. 
I mean, it seems like it seems like their strength is fighting. That's like maybe that's how they stay in the game. It seems like their strength is just literally their aggression, their mechanical ability, and their ability to fight, bro. Like, I guess if that's your strength, the rules don't apply to you. That's insane. Cause they not only took that fight that I don't think should have been taken, they they kinda won it. They got the enemies off lower and they secured more kills. And they cut the gold lead down slightly. Lord reset once again. Somebody should be pushing the opposite side of the map, though. Like, it, I don't like how the the bottom is not being pushed. Who should be doing that? I would say probably Banana. Banana should be pushing bot lane. If you ask me. But I guess now nah, they 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 fight oriented. So Banana's trying to get a pick off or trying to fight somebody or trying to do something aggressive related. Look at that. See what I tell you. She was waiting for an opportunity to attack somebody. Like they overstayed and fought this for way too long. But it's anybody. <laughs> yeah. Now they lost the Lord. They've accomplished nothing. Like. I don't know, like, that's why I'm not a fan of that. Even though it pays off sometimes where all that fighting kind of got them off Lord the first time, they still stayed there. It's been minutes, multiple minutes of them just standing by Lord, accomplishing nothing. That's not pushing the game more in your favor. You have to go and push some towers. Like, you have to go and do something. Because now look at this. The bottom lane has been cleared up. While the enemies were distracted on Lord, that bottom lane should have been pushed. But now they're back pushing the bottom lane even more against you. So now you're going to be even more towers behind. On top of that, you lost Lord. Look at that. You're about to lose bottom tower. The, the lane you could have been pushing. And you're about to lose mid. Just lost two more towers. You're going to lose top two because it's not like y'all can step out against that. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, you you lost Lord and you lost three towers. All because you wanted to take that fighting approach. That's why I'm not a fan of that. That, that. that one fight you overstayed trying to fight at Lord led to three towers being lost. Like, you could have just lost Lord. And the bottom lane could have been pushed up in your favor. And maybe you didn't lose the tower in the bot lane. You still would have lost some towers potentially, but it wouldn't have been this catastrophic if you would have just given up Lord and focused on the macro. You know? Let's see. What they doing, what they doing. And by the way, it's a lot easier to analyze this type of stuff when you're watching it back than it is in the game. Emotions are high, stuff's going on, a lot of moving pieces. It's very easy for somebody to sit back and watch what's being done than it is to actually play and do the things in real time that you're supposed to be doing properly. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of hard work. So... <clears throat> Yeah, even though I can criticize what's going on, I know how tough it is to do everything right. All the all the players are doing their best for sure. You just got to, you know, you got to be you got to know when you're doing something that's wrong though. That way you can fix it and, and learn how to do it better and focus on doing it a little bit better. Like RRQs Macro is weak, in my opinion. But their mechanics, aggression, and team fight capabilities is one of the best in the world, to be honest. Definitely one of the best in the world. But none of that matters 
against a team that's superior when it comes to the macro. Like, you're a better fight. Like, look at this. Why is top lane? Like, you look at the gold difference, bro. Look at the gold difference. Like, and look at this. They're, they're surviving this. And this is this is what I mean. It gets in your head as if what you're doing is a good decision because you're winning. You're, you're winning. Go push. Go push top. Go, like, somebody go put. Where's Banana at? Go push top. Push top. Get those top. Look at this. Bottom lane is being pushed up, too. Put some pressure. Like, the four enemies can stay there and fight that and push top. Make them, if, if anything, try to make them reset Lord. Lord has been reset. Top. Immediately. You're overstaying fighting again. To be fair, this shows you how good they are at fighting because they're 7K gold behind and Bren can't just walk all over them. So that tells you the skill there. But Banana's really just hiding in bushes trying to hit people from behind anyway. You're not needed there, bro. But honestly, if they do see her over there pushing that lane, they would probably get a little bit more aggressive. But what is Banana doing anyway besides getting clapped by Flapteezy now? Like. So look, now they're going to lose Lord, right? The enemies are going to lose Lord now. The red team, RRQ, is going to lose, lose Lord. They're going to lose all three of those um, third tier towers, you know? They're going to lose Lord and all the towers. Maybe not. Look at this banana chasing the kill. Like, banana wants that kill so bad. Like, what are y'all doing, bro? What are, you, what are you doing? Like, come on now. Getting Cal TZ would have been a good shutdown, but it's never that serious, bro. Like, he wanted to get the retribution out of there. Like, the only reason I'm not going to, you know, only reason I'm not going to go in on that play too bad is because with that retribution gone, that puts it in your team's favor a lot. So that could have been a play. That could have been a play. If you're going to go for anyone and dive through their team to try to kill anyone, the person with retribution is the person you want to do that for. So I just don't think that that was the best decision on a chessboard, personally, but now they lost Lord and they've lost every single tower as well and potentially the game. Like they've lost Lord and they've lost every tower, which is exactly what I said was going to happen. It's that was obvious. Yeah, man, this is a good game though. They, they everybody did their best. Everybody did their best, man. But nah, they got to go back to the drawing board, man. Definitely got to go back to the drawing board, you know,